தமிழ்நாடு அன்டிசிபேட்டி எராடிகேஷன் ஃப்ரண்ட்ஸ் ஃபோர்த் ஸ்டேட் லெவல் கான்ஃபரன்ஸ் வாஸ் ஹெல்ட் ஆன் ஃபோர்த் அண்ட் ஃபிஃப்த் ஜனவரி டூ தௌசண்ட் டுவெண்ட்டி த்ரீ இன் நார்த் மெட்ராஸ் மோர் தேன் த்ரீ ஹண்ட்ரட் டெலிகேட்ஸ் ஹவ் பார்ட்டிசிபேட்டட் ஃப்ரம் ஆல் தி டிஸ்ட்ரிக்ட்ஸ் அக்ராஸ் தமிழ்நாடு அப்பார்ட் ஃப்ரம் தி டெலிகேட்ஸ் ஆஃப் தி அப்பார்ட் ஃப்ரம் தி டிஸ்ட்ரிக்ட் இன்சார்ஜஸ் ஆஃப் தமிழ்நாடு அன்டிசிபேட்டி எராடிகேஷன் ஃப்ரண்ட் இன்சார்ஜஸ் ஃப்ரம் தி மாஸ் மூமெண்ட்ஸ் லைக் மாஸ் மூமெண்ட்ஸ் யூத் மூமெண்ட்ஸ் விமன் மூமெண்ட்ஸ் ஆல் தி அதர் ஃப்ரெட்டர்னிட்டி மூமெண்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் தலித் ஆர்கனைசேஷன்ஸ் have participated in this two days conference and yesterday it was a public meeting uh, which was titled sadi marupalargal sangamam which means to organize people it's a union of people who want to really eradicate caste from this society so that uh, public meeting with thousands of pa- people participating in the pa- public meeting we um, we openly announced that we the um, <clears throat> the cadres of untouchability eradication front will really strive hard to eradicate caste and evils of caste from this society honorable minister devasam board minister mr radha krishnan from kerala have participated and um, uh, bala prajapati adigalar uh, he also participated and gave a spiritual talk against the evils of the caste and he said that without um see he he will take the fire from this public meeting this fire to eradicate caste to all the parts of tamil nadu so today it's a delegates conference uh, the conference was inaug- today's delegate conference was inaugurated by the victims of caste atrocities especially we all will not forget the poor girl 16 year old girl nandini who is sex brutally Uh, sexually harassed and killed by the caste dominant uh, caste dominance in arilo district of tamil nadu her family her sister her mother and her family members and those who lost their very mem- uh, very precious uh, lives of their family due to the caste atrocities they all came together th- that they owned the conference they said tamil nadu untouchability eradication front is our own organization we feel that it is our own organization so in that sense they inaugurated the conference and it was quite a very emotional moment on that uh, on that time with the victims of the caste con- caste atrocities owning the organization uh, con- uh, the delegate conference b- uh, began like that honored various dalit organizations representatives which tnuf working along with tnu is very unique in coordinating all the other dalit organizations who is working in the districts for the same cause so there are more than 10 to 15 leaders across tamil nadu who are working for the cause of the dalits have come here and we all stood in a stage and we we announced to the fascist uh, uh, fascist uh, fascist movements that we are not alone the people Uh, the the movements against the caste eradication are not alone we are together we will fight against fascism and we will fight against the caste atrocities in tamil nadu and after that uh, we passed so many resolutions demanding special law to prevent inter killing of inter caste marriage couples it, it demanded the implementation of guidelines given by the ministry of home on the basis of the judgment delivered in the shakti vagini case in a case filed by tamil nadu untouchable eradication front the high court of chennai has also given certain guidelines to be followed by the district authorities for the protection of inter caste married couple so this conference has demanded both the center and state to pass special legislation against caste corner killings second important resolution passed by this conference is against manual scavenging it demanded manual scavenging act should be strengthened particularly the definition of manual scavengers the conference has demanded that certain provisions of the 
act has to be strengthened. Already a bill is under consideration by the parliament, the Manual Scavenging Prevention Act 2020. So, utilizing that bill, sending that bill to the standing committee, the bill has to be strengthened to prevent the deaths due to manual scavenging. Third one, because of new liberal policies, the concept of scheduled caste subplan and tribal subplan got diluted. So, the conference has demanded to strengthen SCST subplan and uh, tribal subplan. It has demanded that special act should be passed for the implementation of scheduled cost subplan and uh, tribal subplan. Likewise, the conference has passed uh, many resolutions against uh, the violation of reservation in higher educational institutions like IIT against caste bias in schools and hostels. The conference has demanded that reservation should be implemented in private sector institutions also. Likewise, conference has demanded that Dalit minorities also should be included in the list of scheduled caste. So, conference has passed many resolutions. The 30 resolutions has been passed by the conference. The conference has demanded that Manu statue in Rajasthan High Court should be removed. So, basing, based on this resolutions, the TNEF conference has decided to carry forward the struggle further for the protection of welfare of Dalits and Adivasis in this country. <laughs>